guys, it's Nathan here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we ran around and played a really, really frustrating minigame. Yeah, we were waiting on some tables, but now we're gonna go ahead and talk to this dude and hopefully get this last side quest out of the way. Hi there. Oh, look who it is. Here for more work? Now, this guy isn't really a really giving us work related to the tavern. This is the guild person, if you guys remember that. Remember back in Mantake, we took a job for the guild? So that's what we're doing right now. I'm looking for a lost pendant. Rihanna Kale? What's up, Carol? Recognize the name? Uh, yeah, it's um, someone in a guild I used to belong to. So you already know the client. The usual looking for a lost item, huh? Yeah, it works work, I guess usual. I guess people lose things. Often. If they're like me. Unfortunately. Anyway, we are definitely not going to decline the offer, so... Only thing to do is accept. It should go pretty quick since you already know the client. You'll find her in the end. Alright, we're all set. Now we are thankfully leaving the tavern. Ugh. I really had enough of that tavern. I mean, that, that minigame in the last episode absolutely killed me to do. That was so time consuming, it wasn't even funny. Ugh. Anyway, here we go. This is the inn. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, if we go back here, we should find Rihanna. Would you be Rihanna? Yes, I'm Rihanna Kale. Who are all of, all of you? We've been sent by the Union. So you're the guild members who will look for my mother's necklace for me? Oh, you poor, beautiful lady! You're searching desperately for a memento of your mother! That's right, it's the necklace that my father gave my mother when they got married. Oh, how sweet. What a wonderful story, my sweet. It's getting kind of creepy, old man. As if that's anything new for him to be creepy. This necklace is made of a rather valuable metal called Everlite. My father mined the ore himself and handcrafted it into a necklace. Ah! I want a necklace like that from someone! So, what sort of identifying features does your necklace have? Everlite is a bright red metal. Ooh, sounds pretty too. My father made that metal into a hexagonal lynx to form a necklace and gave it to my mother. What a nice guy! A necklace of bright red hexagons, quite distinctive. Yeah, that should make it easier to find. So do you have any idea where you might have lost it? Well, actually, I dropped it into the river. You dropped it into the river and you want us to find it. How are we supposed to find that? I don't care if it's important to you. That's like, you're asking for quite a bit there. What you're asking is impossible. But we did we did tell the Union we'd accept the task after all. Any other guild would turn a request a request like this down once they realized they couldn't do it. No, 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 no! Once a guild is taking a job, it cannot refuse to do it. Since when? As far as I know, you can pretty much refuse to do whatever you want. Can't you see that this young lady is deeply troubled? What kind of guild would refuse to help such a poor, sweet, beautiful girl? We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky, Brave Vesperia! Uh, he'd be a good spokesperson. Very good inspirational speaker, if only he weren't perverted. And wanting to pick her up, probably. Anyway, yep, if you haven't noticed, Carol is gone. Quite suspicious. That would explain why it's so quiet. <laughs> Two barks. Bark, bark. Let's go and find him. Hey, are you done talking to her? Where were you? Oh, I just remember something that I had to do. Likely story. Yeah, sure. Sorry about that. You're the guild leader, dude. And repeats leading the way. Okay, now we have to go over to the bridge. This bridge. She wants us to search the water down below for her necklace. I never 
don't really notice how deep the water is here. How can she possibly drop her necklace off of that bridge? Even if you jumped in, I doubt the necklace is there anymore. Everlight isn't all that heavy as far as the metals go, so yeah, I'm sure it's drifted downstream. All that would mean it's lying somewhere on the bottom of the ocean about now. I'd be careful if I were you. The current's pretty crazy around here thanks to the ocean tides. If you fell in, you'd be swept off in a jiffy. The tides? This isn't the sea, though. The water in this river is a mixture of ocean water and fresh water that runs down from the mountains. All the rivers around here are like that. Yeah, this is pretty much impossible. Come to think of it, the body of the magistrate that they say was dumped into this river washed up over in Heli or... Yeah. Way to go, Yuri! That just goes to show you how far the current can carry things that fall in. Sounds like starting this search in Helliard might not be a bad idea. Thanks for your help. <laughs> He's just like, what? What did I do? So, sounds like this river is actually pretty powerful. And she wants us to search this thing for her stupid necklace. Jeez. Assuming we didn't know about the current and just jumped right in, she would have been responsible for us drowning. Anyway. Now, as they said, we are going to Heliord, which I believe is a little bit east. Right here, actually. That only took a couple seconds. I like this fast traveling. Anyway, the person that we want to find is actually not on this upper level here. After that whole Kumor incident, we should be able to go down. Let's talk to this guard really quick. If you want to pass, then pass. Yep, a whole different attitude than how it was before. They got nothing to hide anymore. Anyway, we're just going to go down here. And let's see, I believe that we need to talk to a little girl somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Is this her? No, that's not her. I'm actually not sure which NPC it is exactly. There's a dog in there and it's so cute, I want to pet it. I do want. Can I come over here? What's with this dude? He's just banging his head on the door of the outhouse? No matter how much the world may change, there is at least one thing that will not. What goes in the body must come out! Thus is the anemia. Anima Veritas, the truth of life. What? What a weirdo. Okay. Okay, yeah, what, what, whatever. I don't want to hear about your parents kissing. What the heck? Okay, wh wh which person is it that has a stupid thing? Oh, here we go. Finally. Oh, her necklace. Ah. Wh what is it? Hey, can you tell me about how you got that thing you're wearing around your neck? Oh, this? I found it by the riverside. Is there any way you'd consider giri giving it to us? The original owner sent us to come looking for it. But I... Now be a bit more accommo accommodating. <laughs> if it's money, we'll, be, we'll reimburse you however, however much you want. Hey, old man, whose money are you talking about? Well, don't throw a hissy. Well, I couldn't accept money for it, but you know, I guess I'd be willing to part with this if you gave me a small bird feather. Okay... I'll be taking that necklace, even if I have to use force. No, I mustn't use force. Perhaps I'll persuade her to give it to me. I won't let you all have it! <laughs> okay... Why does this dude want it so badly? I don't care which one of you gets it, I'll give the necklace to the first person who brings a small bird feather to me. Alright, I'm off. Farewell. Dash! What a busy little man. We shouldn't loiter around waiting for him to beat us to it. Let's go. Okay, now I believe we should have a bird feather already. Yep. Ah, oh, it's so nice to be a monster killer. My, that was quick. Yeah, we didn't even leave. Oh, well, I had really taken a liking to it, but anyway, here you go. All right! Here you go, a small bird feather just a couple seconds too late somehow, even though we already had the item. But I promised I'd give the necklace to the person who came back with the item first, so I already gave it to them. But what? You're not going to give it to me? But I must have it! 
Unfortunately, we need this too. Sorry, man, but we can't give it to you. Okay, so he is getting pretty... pretty worked up there. Violence isn't the solution. You're the one threatening us. Why did he want it so bad? This is Rihanna's necklace anyway. It isn't ours to give, even if you wanted to. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's go back to Dongrest. Okay, so, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back door, by the way. Just to show this off, there is actually a new exit to this town. I probably should have went through here in the first place, but... Hey, I forgot about it. Until now. So if you come in through this way, you'll come in through the labor camp. So that's a very good shortcut that I could have taken, but didn't. Leave it to me. Anyway, back to... Dongrass! In we go, and she should be still waiting by the inn. So we're gonna go ahead and walk in here. Thank God we did not have to search that river. That would have been an interesting minigame, like, dive into the river and then, like, shake the... or button mash to swim down or something? I don't know. Anyway, back into the inn. And where is she? Here she is! Here it is, darling. Your very own Everlight necklace. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Where did you ever find it? Well, you see... Oh wow, what a miracle. Thank goodness. Now for your reward. Well, your love is reward enough. Settle down, old man. Rihanna! You! Where have you been? You're that man from Heliord. Hey, you! Rihanna, how do you know these people? They were looking for my necklace. What? Oh, so that's why you were... That's right. So who the hell are you? I'm an old friend of hers. An old friend, huh? You know, you are really annoying. Could you just shut up for a minute, please? All right. I can take a hint. Where were you all this time? I've been looking for you. been out looking for your necklace. The necklace that you said was a memento of your father, but I couldn't find it. Don't worry. There's a reason that I wanted to find it myself. In the end, I had to get some help from these people, but I wanted to be the one to give you this as a symbol of our engagement. Huh? Engagement? You did that for me? I think we should be on our way. Oh? But what about our payment? Consider it a wedding present. Right, Carol? He's gone. Hmm? He was right here a moment ago. Maybe something came up again. Hey, old man, let's go. Huh? Oh, right. Are you done? Sorry, I remembered I had to do something. So did you get the payment? Nah, no payment this time. What? What are you talking about? How can you not take payment for a guild job? Let's just say this job was a wedding present. A wedding present? Huh? You mean Professor Rihanna is... Professor? Uh, well, um... You did say that you knew her from a guild you used to be in. Actually, she was sort of my teacher in the guild. She was famous for being really strict. I know I got my share of beatings. Hmm. So that's why you didn't come with us to meet her. Well, no biggie. No, no biggie? Yes, biggie! You didn't get a payment! There is something besides payment that I'd like to settle. Huh? What do you mean, Judith? So far, we've delivered stuff and found stuff. Two totally different kinds of work. What is Brave Asperia for? What does this guild I belong to do? She's got a point. What are you doing all this for? Money? You like doing it? Looking at it from the outside? I can't tell what you want to do. Uh, well, uh, um... I mean, I'm not a member or anything, so whatever. Okay, let's just say this is a trial period while we're figuring that out. Huh? Yeah, okay. If we can't come up with an answer right now, we'll just think on it for a while. Oh. Right. Well, 
Brave Vesperia is relatively new, I guess. Maybe? Even though weeks and months have probably passed in the game time? Anyway, we are almost done with this episode, but we want to go through one more scene because I do not want to extend all these side quests to one more episode. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this lady. Can I ask you something? Do mercenaries ever come in and sell spears here? They do indeed on occasion, but most of them are secondhand, used items. Are you in the market for something like that? Okay, it's not the sort of thing to be easily damaged or dull, right, Ju Judy? No one's brought in a fancy spear like that, nope. I see. And that's it! That is one really short scene, but we gotta do it. Anyway, we are pretty much done here, and who else enjoyed seeing Raven get told off by one of the chicks he hits on? I sure did. <laughs> anyway, now that we're done with all that, in the next episode, we are finally, finally going to progress the storyline. I'll tell you right now, I am so glad to be done with all this. That, that was a really huge long of side quests. I think that was like the longest side quest line we've had so far. But it had to be done. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. And I will see you guys next time. Masinala out. <laughs>